Super fast, super efficient and poised to revolutionise our everyday life. Drone technology is taking off and starting to deliver on its promises. This is one of our drones getting warmed up to start deliveries for the day. The coffee stays hot, the eggs we deliver don't break. The future is here. You could get hundreds of food items, from cheeseburger and fries to freshly prepared salads. Drone technology is progressing really rapidly. It's been raining all day and you're stuck at home, but you're still craving your favourite cafe's brew. So you jump on your phone, you order a coffee, and minutes later, it's whizzing through the air at 110 kilometres an hour. Before it's dropped off by drone. And best of all, it's still piping hot. At 110 kilometres per hour, we're one of the fastest ways to move a small package across the city. For years, drone company Wing has been delivering food to customers in parts of Queensland and the ACT. Now they're taking flight in Melbourne from the Eastland Shopping Centre. Jesse Suskin from Wing. All of our deliveries travel in this package, um, which is water resistant. It's also aerodynamic. Here's how it works. The drone delivery is available on delivery app DoorDash. After you make an order, the food's picked up from inside the shopping centre, taken to the rooftop, where 18 drones are waiting to deliver to 26 suburbs across Melbourne's east. Minutes later, they're off and away. Did you ever think your coffee would be flying through the sky? Not really. Jay Hugh owns the Be King Cafe inside Eastland. He says his coffees have been flying off the counter. Because of the flexibility and the quick response and the faster delivery. While the drones are overseen by a pilot based in Canberra, they mostly fly themselves, finding a safe spot to hover above your driveway. Accounting for things like weather, other aircraft in the air. It's clear the sky's the limit. In Australia, drones are already being used to rescue swimmers at sea. Overseas, they're ferrying medical supplies between hospitals, even withstanding below freezing temperatures at Mount Everest's base camp to deliver oxygen and remove rubbish. And once confined to science fiction, flying cars could be just years away from revolutionising the way we commute first trials around 2027, deploying in very strictly controlled environments. Aerospace technology expert Dr Adriano Di Pietro from Swinburne University. The technology will progressively roll out with more and more of these routes being covered. Say we deliver you a box of dry pasta or dry spaghetti, you'll use more energy boiling the water to cook the spaghetti than our drone will use in actually flying it to your house. Well, I can probably lie in the pool and have a drone drop food to me while I'm in the pool, so that's cool. Unless it falls out of the sky, and there goes all the food. <laughs> we have a vast nation, we have the tyranny of distance. Drone technology we see could play a key role in the support of most of our critical services. I don't know about you, but I'm happy to get my coffee delivered by drone. Not sure about travelling in a flying taxi though. It might only be a matter of time.